Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're looking at the Yeedy Vac Station, a robot that can mop and vacuum at the same time and also includes an auto empty dock, all for a very affordable price. Yeedy was founded in 2019 and has since been making a name for itself by delivering affordable feature packed robot vacuums. While the Yeedy Vac station I have here is the most expensive, Yeedy also lets you buy the Yeedy Vac or the Yeedy Vac Max without the dock. The main difference between the Yeedy Vac and the Yeedy Vac Max is with the larger battery on the Max, you will have almost twice the cleaning runtime. Both the Yeedy Vac and the Yeedy Vac Max are compatible with the Vac station, so you can add that on later if you so wish. Taking it all out of the box, there is a bit of assembly required to put the dock together. But thankfully, Yeedy includes a screwdriver and the process is easy. Yeedy includes one bag installed in the dock and one extra bag in the box. The Yeedy Vac uses VSLAM technology to help it map and navigate your home. That is the big camera on the top of the robot there. Using the camera instead of LiDAR means you get a perfectly flat top on the robot which allows it to get under furniture more easily than robots with LiDAR. There's also a floor detection sensor on the bottom that Yi says helps it split the map into rooms, and also included is a dedicated carpet sensor, which allows the robot to boost vacuum power automatically when carpet is detected, and while mopping, it allows Yi to avoid mopping on carpets and rugs. The brush roller is typical combo of bristles and rubber, and the side sprinting brush helps pull debris in from the edge of your rooms, it just pops into place. The water tank, which is a respectable 240 milliliters in size, slides into the back, and the mopping pad clicks onto the tank when you are ready to mop. Back around to the top, when you lift the lid, you will notice a power button, which you will need to turn on once you are ready for setup. A reset button, a Wi-Fi indicator light, and a QR code is on top there to help you get started with the app. Also included is a roller brush cleaning tool. The dustbin, which is 420 milliliters in size, is easy to remove and clean out. It has a three layer filter, which can be washed. The Yeedy Vac Station has an impressive 3000 pascals of cleaning power. The front of the robot includes a clickable bumper, but interestingly absent is a dedicated side wall sensor. Looking at the dock station, it has a push to open dustbin lid with an included 1.5 liter dust bag, which Yeedy claims is good for about 30 days of cleaning. Toss it away and slide a new one back in. The dock not only charges, but empties the Yeedy vac from the bottom of the robot through the two holes in the base. Getting the Yeedy set up on my home network is fairly straightforward and easy to do. Once you have set up the Yeedy, you will need to, it to go out and map your home. Yeedy says it may take a few times to completely fill in the map, but I found it did so just after one try. Okay, let's talk performance. I put the Yeedy Vac through multiple endurance tests in my home. These are standard tests that are run on all of my robot vacuums. The first one was a vacuum test on carpet max plus power setting. I used zone cleaning feature to send the Yeedy to pick up a quarter cup of rice or 54 grams. It picked up an impressive 49 grams of rice, which is one of the best recorded scores. On the tile floor, I once again did a zone cleaning to allow Yeedy to pick up 130 grams of cat litter. It picked up an amazing 129 out of the 130 grams of cat litter. This beat some robot vacuums twice its price tag. The Yeedy has 3,000 pascals of suction, which is more than other robots in this price range. Now onto the mopping challenge, which I used dried on hot sauce on my tile floor. I filled the onboard water tank with room temperature water and pre-wet the mopping pad. I selected two times cleaning, as I do with all of my mopping tests, and the results were just okay. Nothing outstanding here, so don't expect any deep cleaning from this robot, as it left over half the hot sauce on the floor. This is typical of mopping robots in this price range though. I tested out the dedicated carpet sensor and the Yeedy did very good here, avoiding carpets and rugs with the mop attached to the robot. While you can technically mop and vacuum at the same time, that really only applies to hard floors and not with carpets. You will need to remove your mopping pad to allow the Yeedy to vacuum your carpets. Yeedy does have recharge and resume as an option, which means if the battery gets low in the middle of cleaning, it will go back to the dock and finish cleaning after a recharge. 
With 200 minutes of runtime from the 5200 milliamp internal battery, you should not run into this issue very much. Once the Yeedy is finished cleaning, it will go back to the dock where it will empty the internal 420 milliliter dustbin and begin its charging process. I found the noise to not be too loud when compared to other tested auto empty docks. It always emptied the dustbin completely, which I was very impressed by. While hair did get wrapped around the roller brush, it was not too hard to clean off using the included tool. Let's talk about the app. Once you go into the app, you have all of the normal options you would expect from a smart navigation robot like zone cleanings, room cleaning, no-go zones, schedule cleanings, and suction power settings. You can also control the amount of water that gets put down with four different settings. In the cleaning preferences, you have several options to turn on and off, making the ED very flexible. I really didn't find anything missing, which is impressive. Okay, let's talk pros. With 3000 pascals of suction power and a well-designed robot, it was able to blow away and break records in my carpet and hard floor pickup test, beating robots three times its price. I was not expecting this, but this is the best vacuum on a robot that I've tested to date. The build quality is also very nice. I really like the sleek design on the robot and the vac station as well. The auto empty station never failed to empty out the contents of the dustbin. It also uses less power than some of the competitors only peaking at around 8 amps, while the competitors are north of 10 amps. Accessories are readily available via ED's website and on Amazon, and the prices are pretty respectable too. Okay, there are a few cons, unfortunately. The biggest con lies within the app itself. While ED does have room cleaning ability, it splits up the room itself during the initial mapping and does not give you an option to custom divide your own rooms. For me, I have a very open floor plan with huge doorways and Yeedy took five of my rooms and only split them into two rooms. So I cannot clean one room at a time. While you could use zone cleaning to get around this, that's inconvenient. I also found the app to stop updating the status of the robot randomly when cleaning and the only way to fix it was to exit and go back in. Randomly, I found the Yeedy to struggle to dock, and while it always docked after a few attempts, this is something I do not see happening often with the competitors. At 1.5 liters, the internal dust bag in the dock is very small compared to some of the competitors. I could see people with larger homes or multiple pets having to change the bag out more often than the stated 30 days. The following is not really a con, but it's something odd to be aware of. When you have the carpet boost option turned on, you would expect Yeedy to boost to the max plus power mode, but it does not. Instead, it boosts to the max mode, which is one step down from max plus. The result is if you're cleaning and have the robot set to max plus mode manually, it will actually slow the vacuum motor down to max when it gets on carpet and the back to max plus when on hard floors. Okay, let's discuss value. With a retail of $499 for the Yee Vac Station, it is considered a low-priced bargain budget option. I can often find it on sale for around $400 mark, and at this price it is an incredible bargain if you can live with the cons. All the cons I listed are software based, which means Yeedy could fix them in future updates. This is a vacuum with top tier vacuuming performance that I'm still shocked by and high quality fit and finish that I can highly recommend for someone not looking to break the bank. Not to mention Yeedy allows you to buy the vacuum today and the auto empty dock down the road. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think of the Yeedy vac station. Well, that's all for this robot. Stay tuned and subscribe for more robot reviews and take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.